Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you my homemade rock timer. Here they are. Two main reasons why I, I wanted to make, make my, my own is because uh, first I think they're pretty expensive for what they are. And secondly, all the rock timer or system alike, they are secure on the, on the hitch not on the receiver and uh, I have a pro pride hitch that look like that so when I'm uncoupled from the trailer that's what's left on the truck pretty big pretty long so I didn't want to leave it there so somebody can get hurt but um, like I said all those system they're secure here on that part making uh, when you want to remove the itch do you move the the flap at the same time and I didn't want that so what I did I like I said I secured mine uh, on the receiver so let's have a closer look so I took a one by one inch steel angle that I secure on my hitch one bolt on each side and from then I add some more steel angle one by one and a half on which the flap are attached to and those angle are uh, secure to the first one with uh, three uh, screws or bolt and nuts so here uh, from underneath I can see we can see the three uh, bolts and nuts that secure both angle together so if I need to remove uh, my flap I only have to do undo those uh, six bolts three on each side and the flap goes out and the first angle stay on the truck uh, from the time being it's they're just late there I plan to uh, weld the the bolts on the first part so I only need to undo the, uh, the nuts so while doing them uh, I had one concern actually uh, I just wanted to have the my flaps installed so they are behind my angle so when the winds blow like that when you travel uh, you have a firm attachment not only the the bolts but all the angles make a, a more resistance but by doing that since the original uh, rock timer the uh, when it it's installed on the edge it goes up there and maybe two to three inch over but with my setup I had a, a gap between the the bumper and uh, my my angle so I just made a, a second small flap just to fill that hole to prevent the rocks to go in this hole and hit my trailer So here you go, uh, now I just made a rough adjustment, uh, 2 inch from the ground, but when I get my trailer uh, attached, I'll readjust the length. Uh, I also order some uh, flap weight that will be uh, uh, secure at the bottom of them to more, make more weight. They're about, it's the, the length, the, the, the width of the flap, 24 inches and uh, about four or five inches high uh, chrome plated the uh, weight to help them stay more straight with the wind so here my uh, homemade rock timer uh, the flap I ordered them on uh, eBay if I remember Thir 24 by 33 30 inch flaps for 
like something like 30 35 dollars for the set all the metal hardware screws i had on my garage so maybe add another 30 dollars for that so so for 65 75 dollar you, you have a set of rock hammer uh, that can be left on with your your itch removed since they're installed on the receiver and uh, for less than a quarter of price of uh, the original rock timer thank you very much